Once again, you want to have an introduction. And with that introduction, start off with the current position and the notable strengths and achievements that you have in your current position. Now, if you are not currently working, talk about the your um your your past position, but you want to pull from previous things, previous uh accomplishments that you have gained to create a very good craft, a very good introduction. Then once again, I cannot stress enough, you must have some highlights. What are some of the points that you have put on the board? What have you contributed to make the organization better? Not just talk about what you have done verbatim at the job. That's boring. It's not about what you did at the job. It's what you have accomplished and what have you done to actually stand out in the organization. Once again, companies want to hire winners, not just doers, even though that is a very harsh statement to say. When you come down to it, a company wants to succeed. They want to make money. They want to be successful. And in order to be successful, you have to have winners on your team. And winners have accomplishments, whether it's on an individual level or if it's on a team level. But you want to talk about some of the highlights that you've contributed to an organization because they're going to take those highlights, write notes down and think about, well, if Eric has brought uh, their last company a 50% increase in revenue, is this something that he can do in our organization? Those are the things that will stick out. And in some instances, that will help move the needle and push you forward or more forward than the people who are actually uh, interviewing for this position also. And then future aspirations. Sometimes when you are answering this question, you just don't want to talk about what you've accomplished in the past. Your past accomplishments do not set you up for future success, right? So what you want to do is plant seeds in the employer's mind about what are some of the future aspirations, what are some of the future accomplishments that you can help them achieve if they hire you for this organization, right? Once again, when you craft this answer, you want to start off with the introduction, which is clear. You want to put your best foot forward, then talk about some of the things briefly that you have accomplished either in your current organization or if you're currently not working in your past organization. And then last but not least, start to plant seeds in the employer's mind on if they bring you on, here is the success that you can help them accomplish if that you, you are within this, this organization, right?